Okay, sometimes when I'm doing the flicking technique, you'll hear me refer to a heavy hand or a heavy touch versus a light hand or a light touch. And what I mean by that is the pressure that I'm using when I put that tip down on the paper to make that flicking motion. If I'm coloring an area where I want larger, less defined um, lines, I will use a heavier hand and more of the nib or the side of the nib when I'm doing that stroke. When I'm using a lighter hand or a lighter touch, I'm going to be using more of the point and using a very gentle, light pressure when I'm making that flicking motion. Okay, we talked about flicking to add texture to the fur and going with the hair growth. And now this is going to, I'm going to add E13 onto this drawing to really get the illusion of fur. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing this flicking farther into the drawing. Again, going with the growth of the hair. You're gonna go curved around the hip and around the leg. And this is going to add that illusion of, of depth and dimension to the dog and the texture so you really get the illusion that this is a furry animal. And I'm going to stop my strokes up here toward the face because the hair is shorter on the muzzle on the dog. You can go back in again now with your E17, which is your darkest color, and you can very, very gently flick in a few areas, very, very light pressure to add more depth. to that fur, again going in the same direction that you went with the last color so that you're building layers on that and adding depth to that hair. Just building that up. you can go in again with your go in with your medium or your W3 the medium color that we chose for your gray here your warm gray and you're going to come in and you're going to flick in a little bit into this rough also going with the growth of the hair <clears throat> and then with your W5 very very gently again very very light pressure just a couple of places here. To add that depth. And that has how you get the really hairy, furry looking collie dog. So to review, to get that realistic illusion of fur, to get that depth, you're going to want to base coat and then do your flicking and it's all about layering your flicking in the different colors that you've chosen to build up that um, depth and that realistic look because fur and hair have so many different colors in them and making sure that your flicking follows the pattern of that hair growth for the most realistic effect. <clears throat>